All right, y'all, quick story time. I look a hot mess, so that's why I'm just talking and not in the camera. Because I want to keep y'all focused and not focus on why she look crazy. <laughs> LOL, for real. But listen, so let me tell y'all story time what happened to me today at work. So guess what? So I'm standing outside like our normal routine waiting for our consumers to come. And another co-worker was outside where she claimed to have like a injury but then she's been on recovery for like over a month so she returned to our department where she supposed to be on light duty now she was outside dancing nothing strenuous just still dancing or you know dancing because we play music in the morning because we like to create a an environment where the energy is positive so when our consumers come if they're having a bad day we like to make them laugh and dance, positive vibes. Long story short, I was playing a song. I'm usually the one to control over the music or another lady. Um, and a song came on and whoever this lady co-worker has, it was his favorite song. So he started dancing, she started dancing with him. One of my supervisors was outside and they go, videotape her, videotape her, cause she not supposed to be dancing. I'ma catch her in the act. She claiming that her back is hurting like that. But it seemed like, they was more mad that she proclaimed that her back was hurt um how she um had the back injury because she said one of her consumers jumped on her back and it caused her to be in pain okay but instead of them being more concerned about is she really in pain or not it was more like let's catch her in the act to prove that she's lying and the reason why I'm telling you guys this because it proves more to you and I that they're more against negative against you in finding out the negative truth than finding out the positive truth. Meaning if they heard something negative about you, people will pursue to prove their self right that the negative is right. Instead of to prove to the self that maybe we're wrong and this person is being lied on or this person is injured. The same thing with you and I. They have slanderous things that's going around about you. And people are not going to search for the truth to prove you're innocent. They're going to try to figure out the truth to prove that what was being said is truthful information. And so long story short, back to the topic, she asked me to video court. And I told and I was like, yeah, 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 I'll do it. Guess what? I text my partner. I said, I'm about to entertain that. If they have a problem with somebody that bad, they need to learn how to confront them or leave it alone or tell that person they can no longer work here. That's it. And I saw trying to set people up and then pulling po innocent people into it. It's a problem that I don't have. I feel like if you the one who wants to obtain evidence, you obtain evidence. They got, it was me and three other co-workers around that that's a HIPAA violation that the supervisor provided because we're not allowed to know why a person was on leave of absent if it's pertaining to a health issue, right? She told all of us that was out there what obtained or the information she obtained and gave it to us and said oh she's claiming she has a back injury one of y'all catch her guess what it was a co-worker next to me and I said I'm not and she said won't you do it won't you do it I said I'm not doing that okay and a co-worker said I did it before I videotaped somebody and I turned it in and I looked at her and I looked at my other partner and I was like see they're making us turn against each other and this is how it was working in the real world this lady had no problem with this young girl young lady but she's already becoming an enemy to this young lady because she's feeling like i have to set her up because not only did this co-worker said i videotaped someone before this co-worker also said watch i'm a catcher i'm gonna ask her to do something just to make her do it and i'm gonna get it on camera so now you're making the other co-workers plot against the other co-worker who did nothing wrong to each other so now it's gonna be a hostile style environment because if that co-worker find out that this other person is setting them up and trying to make them do stuff and then turn in the videos wouldn't you be mad so moral of the story is this is how they get innocent people to go against innocent people the same thing that has happened to you and I the same thing they ask somebody to do it and just like this lady that chose to say I'll do it there's people in the world that say I will do it so if somebody tells somebody to go flatten your tires because that person's a criminal somebody somebody's dumb enough to say oh yeah i'll do it that's right we need to do this why we don't know but we'll do it just because you asked us to do it um there's a, a experiment experiment a social justice experiment called the 
Melgram experiment where they said how many people will submit to a person in authority meaning there was a, the subject was there was a man who's proclaiming to be a scientist and there was another one playing um, being a manager of a company he asked his co-workers to come into the room and the scientist will said can you shock the other people that are coming into the room and one of the co-workers this is an experiment called the Melgram experiment look it up and then the co-workers against co-workers right are innocent people I think they were strangers Okay, so they said shock the person on the other screen. The people on the other screen that was not seen was actors, and they said, and then the people that was getting being um tested in the experiment was real people didn't know what's going on. Okay, they asked, so the scientist said shock the other person on the other side of the wall, the actor, right? And the person would scream like ah. And then the person I was doing the shocking said, does it hurt them? He said, it probably does hurt them a little bit, but we're asking you to do it. So do it. Some people said, yes, I'll do it. And they continued to do it while the actor on the other side of the wall was screaming like they was in agony. I can't even speak agony <laughs> in pain. Right. And then some people did. This guy's a stalker, y'all. He every time I come, he act like he gotta go to his car. He come back, all type of stuff. You see that? But long story short, listen to what I'm telling y'all. You're looking at mm -mm. I can never lie right so long story short you guys pay attention to everything that goes on this man just came looked and waved at me came over there and came back the hell is going on that's why I paused you guys because he came all the way over here just to say hi i don't even talk to dude like that that's why i paused you see when he walked by he walked by and came on the other side of my car looked at my car waved and then went back to his car that's his car so what did he need to come over here and wave for so y'all watch our surroundings like i've been keeping up i know it changed the subject I always change the subject because they always put something in the mix to make you Stop what you're thinking and get off project. Anyways, look up the Melgram experiment on your own time because I already I lost where I was at. Sorry about that because of these people. But also keep up with that Sinquella story, Sinquella Robinson story. It's getting more and more sad as I get the details. It's becoming proven that she was set up by people that she thought loved her and who she loved back in return. So keep keep in mindful on that, you guys period we don't know what this guy got going on he a weirdo watch him period i'll talk to you guys soon y'all seen that y'all seen him put something on his car right it's wrapped something's wrapped in that newspaper so we gonna see what's going on he came all the way over here i'm gonna watch where he at people crazy nowadays and he came and waved and he came all the way over here and waved at me so if something happened, he going to be a suspect. <laughs> and it's all on tape. Look at God. Talk to you guys soon.